Look guys, they won the ugliest clothing contest. Cause that's what cool people do. Trying to find some stuff that would work for work, but it's hard to find any that are the right color tags on sale and in my size that aren't, you know, the wrong color clothing or something. I only found one white shirt and I'm hoping that the one little spot on it will come clean. Mom thinks she can fix it, so hopefully. I just have to bleach it or something tonight. I can't believe I lost it all Sent into a fall Taking a stand, microphone in my hand Like a warrior on a battlefield making my advance Voice general and most subliminal Victory's pinnacle is winning a nigga's soul I've lost myself inside these walls Can anybody hear my call? Ice long distance, marathon pack in a carry-on Till cemetery dirt is buried on My cadaver seems like I'm raptured by the song Feel like I breathe when the air is gone I feel like a fire that'll never stop I feel like the sands that the tides forgot Believe when all you have is lost Take a stand, no matter what the cost The fear of knowing something's wrong I'm here, you know you can be strong Stay close, your strength is all I hold Still lost, your voice will guide me I'm no victim, darkness is prism I'm risking my life for the mission Past, present, future, Still time machine vision I've seen a witness, spiritual lifting Fears get stricken with confidence, wisdom Common sense gifted, wrapped by decision Open by children, Still only understood by a dope Open your ears, just listen It's like Mary Poppins bag in there. Hmm? She's pulling out all sorts of garbage, food garbage in there. First I asked about the cereal that's been in there for a long time, so she tossed that. Then I asked about the beef jerky package. She pulled it out and there's a huge chunk of beef jerky left in there. And then jokingly, I mentioned about the nick lip things, those wax things that you bite the top off of and you drink the juice out of it. Jokingly, I said that they were probably all melted in there. She pulls them out and they were leaking all over inside their packaging. And she pulls out really old Christmas candy. It's August! <laughs> it's August? Good God, girl! <laughs> Get anything else in there? Did you check the front pocket? Because you only check the top. Did you check the front? <laughs> I'm gonna be pulling out like slabs of fish and stuff next. There's a pencil that's been in there for a while. Well, the pencil's not gonna go stale. <laughs> well. <Salt. laughs> Are you kidding me? Was that a spoon that was in the- Oh, you don't need those papers. Your cheat sheets. <laughs> There's a spoon in here. I could have bought mashed potatoes at Walmart and eaten them with a the spoon. Is that more garbage you just threw in there? Oh, my book. <laughs> <laughs> wow, girl. <laughs> Hope that wasn't a school library book. It's not, or else it'd have a thing here. Hmm. I, oops, I took this from an old school. <laughs> Look at all this crap oh, she's got. There. Look at all the crap she's got in there, man. Mine's just got two hedgehog books, that's it. Holy crap, more silverware? <laughs> Give me that. I have a spork. Give me that. <laughs> Keeping that one. What the fudge monkeys? Is it a cookie? Yes. Oh. Is it? No, it's a chicken tender. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, Evie, throw that out. That is disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, do not tell dad. Okay. Throw, whatever that is that leaked down there, throw that paper out too. She just pulled a chicken tender from A&W out of that pouch pocket in front of her. Oh. It was down in the bottom. Uh oh. Oh, she's here to stay Okay, well, put, well... Any evidence? 
Well, it's all in the garbage, so put the silverware back in there and buckle up real quick. <laughs> and you're recording this. Yeah. But well, it's not like he's gonna watch. Yeah. Yeah, he's not watching too. He's in trouble. I'm gonna tell. Well, that was an interesting dream. Um, I dreamt that friends of mine and I were in a house, and there were a ton of floors to it. And, um, we went down to get some strawberries, but apparently there was a toxin or something in the air, and it was causing, like, zombification. And slowly, um, we started going zombified, and... We had to keep moving up one level of the house each night to get off of the ground floor because of all of the zombies outside. And um, after a while we got up to the attic and then a friend of mine and I left. We got out and left. and. As a school bus drove by the town, like by the house, all four tires on the back of the bus popped and just shredded. And then we were on the freeway, we jumped onto a vehicle, and then we jumped off to get back closer to the house. And then as we were walking back in, apparently we were in London, and... Um, for some reason, I was totally not afraid of the cops like she was, and so she started running, and I didn't, and there were four of them, and then it was like suddenly clockwork orange or something, well, they didn't like change outfits or whatever, but they were gonna like attack me, and then across the street was a bomb per se and it was my friend Esther from school way back when so I started shouting for her and then she saw me and she's like hey what are you doing here and she walked over to start talking like totally unaware of what the people were the guys were gonna do and then um my other friend who had ran walked back up and she didn't have my purse with my passport like I'd asked her to get to prove that, you know, I was from out of the country or whatever. And then Alex showed up and I was talking, I said something to him. And like by this point, the cops were like, they were just, you know, being normal or whatever. They didn't try to attack me. And I, I can't remember what I was saying to Alex. It was something. And said something about um, that when some girl had called or whatever that he was playing strip poker and that he couldn't talk to her or whatever and I was like, excuse me? And he says, I was playing it with you on the phone and I'm like, oh yeah, I had completely forgotten we did that. And like, all this while, he was slowly, like, inching me back away from the rest of them or whatever to, like, get me away from there. Um, but at this point, I had woken up. Uh, I remember just, I apparently have dreamt of this house before, and it's a very terrifying house. And, I don't know if it's like possessed or haunted or both or what, but it just, it's awful. <sighs> God. And then just having the cops, like, cops like attacking me, clockwork orange style didn't really help. 
Ugh. Look, it's dead. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah, that looks like him. <laughs> okay, you be show him. <laughs> so show me. <laughs> He's over 50. He's gonna put his arm up. When did you get this? Okay. Hey, where are Praise <laughs> like gold and diamonds owes its value to its scarcity. Yeah, for me. Why? Because it's my birthstone. That's the only reason I want it. It's your little diamond sliver. Little and often makes much. Huh? Little and often makes much. Okay. Keep negative comments to yourself. Avoid any disputes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all, Missy. Yep. Yeah. Not only of you, it's yours, you can't do it. Yeah. Okay, after I tried on all those clothes and stuff earlier, um, I didn't get the one pair of black because they were just way too baggy. Anyways, um, came out and mom only had one thing so I had to run it. We had to look around and look for something and then I ended up finding this shirt, which is, and I washed it already and I already got deodorant on it. Uh, anyways, it's got a little owl on it. Anyways, so it's warm, but I need to take it off because it just came out of the dryer and it's really, really hot. Oh my gosh. The thunder being almost constant and so much lightning, is this heat lightning then? Not with rain? You sure? Because it's been pretty darn hot. These are very electrified clouds then. <laughs> what? Pikachu clouds. Get your Pika butt to bed, Missy. <laughs> I thought, I genuinely thought when she did that that she took off running down the hall. It would have been perfect. <laughs> Over here. 
Did I show you guys? I made a thing. Anyways, um, I'm gonna head to bed after I wash my face and stuff. Um, and the storm's pretty much calmed down and all that. So, yeah. Um, I put the lid back in this thing and stuff and yeah. Okay, so, I hope you all have a wonderful night, slash morning, slash whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you all tomorrow. Through this